Tommy, that was certainly an entertaining way to kick off the 24-25 season. What are your thoughts after that draw? Well, I could stand here and be cup half empty or cup half full. For my for my game, the first 20 to 25 minutes, I thought we were outstanding. And the last 20 to 25 minutes, once we'd been heavily punched on the nose and stuck on a canvas by a very, very good side, um, I thought we got up ourselves off the floor really well and um, dealt with what, what we had. And we, we reduced them to real counter-attacks to be honest with you so for us to have the domination that we did at the beginning at the end that's really pleasing and i would have been really really disappointed had we not taken something from the game so my mantra always is in the first game of the season you're not going to win anything you're not going to you know doesn't define your season um but i think it's been a really good game and i hate saying this but for the neutral which is probably what weren't many in the building uh, for the neutral it would probably been a really good game to watch Let's talk, kick off by talking about that electric start and, and two goals for Haddy. I think mm. if there's anyone that deserves some goals, that Haddy is maybe that man, isn't he? It was great to see him scoring. I have no doubt he's got them in him. I mean, he's, you know, I said to you, I think the pitch needed exercise and for him in terms of, you know, he couldn't, he couldn't hit a cow's backside with a banjo <laughs> through pre-season, but he kept getting in the right places and he's been excellent in training, he was excellent. His output in general over the, the whole of the pre-season training and games has been excellent. So, yeah, we're really pleased for Harry. I'm delighted with his reaction when he scored. Um, but all the players you saw on the bench, whenever we did score or got close to it, there looks a real unity to the group. So, massive uh, kudos to the three boys who come off the bench because I thought they made seamless, and, you know, themselves coming on was seamless. We, we didn't at all look weaker with the additions. We looked actually, if anything, a little better sometimes. So, yeah, all, all in all, I'm really pleased. In terms of going two goals down, it's not uh, sorry, two goals up and then losing that lead. It's never something that you want to happen. However, mm. obviously getting back into the game and getting a point from it shows character for our side, doesn't it? Massively. They, they, they I were mean, staring at defeat there and then they, they turned it around. Yeah, I mean, I never start staring at defeat until 90 minutes and is gone and you know how many is left. If you're behind then, then you are staring it in, down the barrel. But you've, you've known me now a little while and I have no problem, no problem, this sounds daft, but... If we can see the goal, so we can see the goal. It's one action in a game. We can score goals. We should have probably been three and up. I think Josh Barrett had a chance at two mm. nil. I think it was still two nil at the time. If that goes in, it could be game over. But it didn't. And if my auntie had different, uh, you know, she would be <laughs> the uncle. So from that point of view, we've got to be very careful what we wish for here. I mean, two nil up, and you're thinking brilliant. Some people will have gone home slightly, like I said, cup half half full rather than you know, um, sorry, half empty rather than half full. But, but I'd urge them to stick with it. Like I said last year, we, we are work in progress always. The new boys have really you know, put the markers out there today against the team who are heavily tipped to, to get back into the EFL. So on that basis, we've got to be really pleased. And the score of the equaliser, James Henry coming off the bench and showing his quality yeah. there, that must be something really nice to have in your back pocket, to have that experience on the bench. There. Yeah, I mean, I, listen, I don't envisage James being on the bench every, every week. So the guy's got real quality and, um, and he's, he's a really good bloke. You know, he's, a, he's mature, he's professional. That's all he's ever done in his, his life. So I think he's a really good addition to the, to the club. And you know what I think? I don't often mention individuals, but I thought the pairing in the midfield were excellent today, but for different... They've got different attributes. And Cameron Argreaves, you know, he's the most selfless player I think I've ever seen in the last five or six years that I've coached and managed. And, and him complimenting Theo in there against the three-man midfield, you know, they're overloaded. Yeah. But we did, I felt, dominate long periods of the game. So they were really good. I thought Harry was excellent all round. Never mind these two goals. And in general, I, I'm, you know, it's have to tick it off and go. You know, we move on to the next game. But please and can do better. We spoke a bit pre-match about headaches and selection dilemmas and stuff and you said, you know, there's going to be players disappointed and when you look at those players that were perhaps disappointed at not getting on and not being in the squad, yeah. there's real quality there as well, isn't there? So a lot of encouragement to go ahead for this season with. Hugely. Touch wood. I mean, we've got five out at the moment, five not available, of which probably two or three of them could really be considered as starters. So from that point of view... Yeah, we're in a, like I've said it before, I said it to you the other day, we're in a much better place as a group than we were at this stage last season. The only difference is we're two points behind where we were. But, but we played a team that, in my opinion, were a little naive last season and just come up from the division mm. below and expected to be able to play the way they played in the National South. This is a different animal we've just taken on there. As you've seen, punching them in the nose a couple of times and sticking them on the canvas didn't put them out. Yep. They got up and they came back at us and that's fair, you know, fair play to, to their management and, and the players on the pitch because they didn't let it go. Um, on another day, like I said, halfway through the season I might be a little bit more disappointed but right now when you know we're getting still we're still building the boys fitness and the games are going to come thick and fast um, I'm really pleased so I'm going to smile.